students once again welcome to bolanath academy in rotational dynamics students we are going to define the angular momentum of a particle we are going to define angular momentum students here the word angular is very important define the angular momentum of particle obtain an expression for the angular momentum of a rigid body rotating with constant angular velocity understanding when the any rigid body is rotating with constant angular velocity what will be the angular momentum that expression we are going to see now before we are going to obtain the expression students first we should know what is angular momentum angular momentum of a particle is defined as the linear momentum of the particles with respect to radius understand students so angular momentum is always related with linear momentum linear momentum students we are showing with p this is the linear momentum and l is stands for what angular momentum these are the symbols understanding to use the so angular momentum of particle is defined as the linear momentum of the particles along the radius so l equals to r bar cross p bar understand students because their directions are very important students so that is why i have written what cross product between the r bar and the p bar this is the angular momentum equal r bar cross p bar understand students here the linear momentum students you know mass into velocity now students if you want to write in dot product students this is the vector product so if you want to find magnitude distance in the terms of magnitude magnitude l equals rp sin theta understanding l equals angular momentum equals to rp sin theta where r is the radius and p is the what linear momentum and sin is the theta between them between them understanding students now consider a rigid body rotating rotating with a constant angular velocity omega now this is the rigid body students irregular rigid body is there now it is rotating with constant angular velocity omega understanding through the axis about the axis through point o now the magnitude of the linear momentum of particle if you want to find out the magnitude of the first we are we are going to find out the linear momentum students if you know the linear momentum you can find out the angular momentum so magnitude of the linear momentum of particle is equals to p1 m1 v1 understanding if you want to find out the linear momentum of the first particle students the first particle means 1 1 understanding the linear momentum of the first particle equals to uh, mass of the first particle and the velocity of the first particle similarly what will be the velocity how it is related with ang ang angular velocity v1 is nothing but r1 omega understanding now put the value here students you will get linear momentum in terms of angular velocity that is p1 equals to m1 r1 omega understanding students now we are going to find out the angular momentum of the first particle only the angular momentum is nothing but r1 cross p1 bar understanding this is in terms of vector form l1 is equals to r1 p1 sin theta this is in form of scalar product so now you students here the theta will is 90 degree theta is what 90 degree they are perpendicular to each other so sin 90 will be what 1 term is nothing but r1 p1 now you know the value of p1 now put this value in this expression students you will get the angular momentum of the first particle equals to r1 into p1 understanding students now you know p1 is equals to m1 r1 omega we have derived the expression put this value here students what happens r1 m1 r1 omega r1 r1 will be r1 square understanding so m1 r1 square omega this is the the angular momentum of the first particle understanding students this is the momentum of the first particle similarly we can find momentum of the second particle that is m2 r2 omega square similarly we can find the third particles similarly we can find out the momentum of nth number of particle that is ln is equals to mn r1 rn square omega understanding now the angular momentum of the whole body will equals to sum of the angular momentum that is l1 plus l2 dash 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 ln understanding students now add the substitute the value students m1 r1 square omega plus m2 r2 square omega plus dash dash plus mn rn square omega now students when you see here omega is present in all the expression take it out because it is common so what happens students you will get the angular momentum is equals to summation of m i r r i square upon where i is equals to 1 to n and omega is outside now uh, angular momentum students uh, angular momentum capital l is nothing but moment of inertia into omega moment of inertia of the body into omega velocity angular velocity the angular momentum is equals to i into omega bar so students angular momentum equals to moment of inertia into angular velocity so these are the very important expression students if you, when you are going to solve the problems these formulas are you should know the formula so if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much god bless you